that was it. So now I'm going to use now, this. Yeah, what you got there? You called it a mini roller. Mini roller. It's a velour. Let's take a look at that thing. Very small nap roller. And I'll get behind the cabinets here. Okay. So I like to get it sealed in behind there. And you won't see it, but it's sealed after the crown goes up in here. And you're just doing this because in your mind this gives you a little bit better product and you're willing to spend a few extra minutes on it. Yeah, just to go back in here. Mm -hmm. Just like that. A good old mini roller. Comes in handy. Yeah, it does. It seals it. I've done entire walls, smooth walls before, Jim, with just the mini roller. Yeah, I've used it too. Yeah, I've used it. It takes a little bit longer and you've got to, you've got to yeah. really watch how much paint you're putting on and yeah. back rolling and all that but in the lines yeah <clears throat> but it works out it works out pretty good depending yeah, yeah. And, and you can even almost with a velour roller Ooh. duplicate duplicate a sprayed effect on doors oh on yeah doors. Uh, if you depending what kind of nap you use right yeah you got you got there's different Naps on there, fine mohair naps, there's velour naps, there's all different kinds of uh, thickness of them. So, I've got a project that a guy got a metal door painted with oil base. Somebody threw a rock through the door, it was glass door, busted the, oh, the door, and uh, it, uh, yeah. he's gonna have to get. A new door or having the glass, but it's, <laughs> he's not happy. I didn't do. I didn't do that with my door too. Yeah. My front door. Yeah. Sort of with glass, oval. Uh huh. Oval. Um, nice. And it let it let it. Let it glass. Yeah. Beautiful. Hey Jim, I've seen some people uh, paint doors with the um, the sponge roller mini rollers. What do you what do you think about that? Do you like, have you ever used those? Well, I, I haven't. Sometimes on the sponge rollers, uh, it leaves a little bubbling effect, oh. mm -hmm. you know, uh, but I haven't had much experience with them because I like the velour type rollers. Uh, they, they seem to lay the, plank, lay the paint down flatter on the surface. Yeah, the you, still get, you still get a, a uh, like, textured look on there to a certain extent exactly I mean nothing's perfectly smooth you want something perfectly smooth you're gonna probably have to spray, spray it. it yeah spray it exactly yeah that's the case on that yeah yeah so I think we're just come along here with this so we can get this seal behind here just a little bit even though this is going to be covered we're going to have a nice finished look. And I, that is a little bit in there. And again, you're not getting it perfect because the crown's going to go there's up. going to be some crown up here because this ceiling has not been painted for 30 years. 30 years. We're just doing a little extra for it is all for the next 30 years. Well, yeah, this will be a final project. Won't have to do it again unless you get tired of the color, <laughs> which is a neutral color. So that's something you have to think about too in choosing colors. Yeah. Uh, your furnishings, your wall coverings, your furniture, picking the right color is very important. Mm -hmm. It's nice to do a sample color on your walls before you go ahead and buy a whole lot of paint. And so in this case, your ceiling ultimately you guys have decided with the owner that it's going to be a lighter color, but it's going to match the same color as what's in the rest of the living room and all that, so it ties in properly. Ties in good now. And the kitchen ceiling is going to be the same color as, a color as the dinette area. There was some talk about maybe where that line was going, going uh, with a different... Like a, a semi-gloss maybe in the kitchen right. as, as opposed to the eggshell in the dinette and the living room. We're going to 
But ultimately, the decision was it's all going to be the same because they didn't want that that line difference. Even though the paint was going to be the same coming across here where that line was, you'd have semi-gloss and an eggshell, and you're always going to see a line no matter what. And they didn't want that. So because this kitchen is so small, they went ahead and decided, let's just go with the eggshell. And you know, Jim, some... Some lots of kitchens they have gone with eggshell nowadays. Yes, yeah, throughout whole homes I've done eggshell. Even the bathrooms. Yeah. Even bathrooms. Even bathrooms. Wow. It's just a, you know, a lot of people don't like the shine of semi. They want eggshell. So. Uh huh. It just, per, per, you know, not that it's any better. It's just the sheen you want to achieve is what you want personal. Yeah. Look, and a lot of the newer homes all going with the eggshell look. Yeah, I see how that mini roller would be nice in certain areas. You you're getting it right on in there, aren't you? Yeah.